They'll be shouting on the hills of glory. They'll be shouting on the hills, shouting on the hills, shouting on the hills of glory. Uh, enjoy that feeling you get when you have an opportunity to perform and engage with an audience. Uh, there's a special thing that you get from feeling that energy that comes back from an audience that's enjoying your performance. Well, Red Star Express was very instrumental in doing that. Mm -hmm. They brought me from classical to now I want to have fun bluegrass style. So I am, at the present, I'm, I'm working very hard at that and I like to, I like to play and have as, have as much fun as everybody else in the band and sometimes it, you know, it really shows it, mm -hmm. you know. But, but it's hard to break away from the classical style and, and get a little loosened up. Oh, I believe I have. And Jerry, the leader of this group, has been very, very helpful because I, I've been a loud singer all my life. I've, I've never had a problem carrying sound. Um, but he, he really made me stop and think about feeling the music and, and singing softer. I think I've done that to an extent, but not as much as I think Jerry was very helpful in that. I remember my father playing Johnny Cash records as far back as I can remember, and Johnny Cash has been a huge inspiration for me, not just musically, but spiritually as well, because he went from highs to low lows and came back and, and turned his life around through the grace of God. And uh, he, by far, Johnny Cash is my biggest musical influence. Of course, growing up, then it was the Merle Haggards and the, and the Hank Williams and those sorts of things as well, but Johnny Cash for sure. Earliest music experience, uh, 10 years old. My dad bought me the first guitar. I really liked that and I started playing guitar and then I heard the banjo and uh, just fell in love with that. I was actually um, very um, blessed, I guess you would say. I lived in Hobbs, New Mexico and at that particular time um, we had uh, Jimmy Henley of uh, Hee Haw fame. His dad was teaching banjo there. And I had, that's where I got my start with the banjo, is from uh, that family. And I had several lessons with them, and uh, uh, he ended up moving away. Roy Clark came and got him, and uh, that's, I, I basically had to learn the rest of it on my own, but I've always been in love with the, the banjo as an instrument by itself. It's just a, a really, really cool instrument. My grandfather taught me when I was seven. Mm -hmm. He taught me violin, and actually it was violin slash fiddle until I was like in third grade. He did a great job of teaching me. Um, unfortunately, he fell off a ladder when he was, uh, I think, 60, and he, his arm, his violin arm couldn't hold out. He couldn't teach me like he should have, so he turned me over to the uh, Green Bay Symphony conductor, who was Ralph Holter. So I started out classical, and classical, I did many competitions. I was in, um, and also instrumentally, I was in the band, I played flute. I actually, I'm a guitar player by trade, uh, mm -hmm. uh, played in a number of different bands, and when I started playing guitar in my church, and there were, after our, our folk group, church group got together, other guitar players got inspired and decided to join, and I looked from side to side and said, we really don't need three guitar players pounding, and decided, you know what, what we need is a bass player, and I went and bought an old used upright bass and learned how to play it and started playing it in our church, and voila, I became a bass player. Actually, my family learned, uh, we did uh, shape note singing in the congregation that we were at, which a lot of people may have heard that from Sacred Harp singing and things of that nature, where we used the seven, seven note shape note singing. I've been doing that, like I say, since I was knee high to a grasshopper. My dad taught me his dad before him and things of that nature. So uh, we learned that. And it's basically Southern church singing, you know, it's, it's, and it's all four part harmony. Yeah, I started singing. My husband bought me a, a really nice guitar for Mother's Day, uh, probably like 12 years ago. And started learning chords, which I knew before because my next door neighbor had, had a guitar and, you know, I could, I could read, um, I could read the, the chord structures. And I started singing on my own a little bit. Um, 
So that's when I actually started singing was quite a while ago. My strongest trials now are past. My triumphs have begun. But to tell you the truth, when I would hear now my daughter who is of age and an adult and has a and we have a young grandson to hear her sing I'm thinking why can't I sing like that this is my daughter why can't I sing like this and you know what a little bit of practice and it just, it came out <laughs> 